And our team coverage on the search for Cody Bixby continues with 10 on your side's Chris Horn. And uh, he has been at the Bixby family house as officers gathered evidence today. And I know that you learned, and we just heard just a moment ago, that Corey now has an attorney. That's correct, uh, Anita. He has retained Jeffrey Ambrose, who is based here in Hampton. He is a one attorney firm. This is as of this afternoon. Uh, it is important to point out uh, that um, Mr. Ambrose, through his paralegal, spoke to 10 on your side this afternoon and said that he was having a hard time getting in touch and, in fact, was unable to get in touch with his client, who is at police headquarters and was instead referred to the Commonwealth's attorney. We, uh, as I mentioned, we spoke with him this afternoon. Also, it is another thing. Here's another thing important to point out at this juncture. Corey Bigsby, the father of Cody Bigsby, to our knowledge, at this hour, has not been charged with any crime. Here's the story we prepared earlier. Corey Bigsby reported his son Cody missing at 9 o'clock Monday morning. Since then, police have said that he has been cooperating, but they also said his information did not align with their evidence. They named him their sole person of interest Wednesday. Thursday afternoon, Corey Bigsby retained an attorney. At about that same time, evidence technicians from Hampton Police re entered the home on Renolette Drive. They got there about 1 o'clock, and nearly three hours later, at 3 45, the investigators emerged with several bags of evidence. They went back in briefly and brought out more evidence, then got in their vehicles and left. However, uniformed officers remained at the entrance afterward. The home in the 100 block of Ranelette Drive in Hampton's Buckrow section has been taped off ever since Cody disappeared Monday morning. Hampton police went door to door in the complex, circulating a new poster that has information regarding the FBI. But police say that is not a change in the investigation, just another way of gathering tips. Meanwhile, the police division is getting assistance from far and wide. Suffolk Fire and Rescue rolled in with a second command unit, and agencies from as far as Cape Charles on the eastern shore are also lending assistance. As you can see, there is a uniformed officer that remains outside the home of Corey Bigsby. The big development this afternoon, he now has an attorney, the Jeffrey Ambrose firm from here in Hampton, plus the reason for that uniformed officer behind me, Evidence technicians continue to gather evidence here at the home on Ranelette Drive. They brought out about five bags worth about quarter to four this afternoon. As far as we know, they remain in the home. Live in Hampton, Chris Horn. Tom, Anita, back to you. Thank you, Chris. And 10 on your side, we'll continue to follow the search for Cody Bigsby. You can check out a timeline of what we know about his disappearance right now on wavy.com over the last four days. We'll bring you any updates on air and online.